One, two, three. Focus. <laughs> Hi, we're Sassybot, a student team from the Netherlands, and we're gonna make Nano Crash, an educational game about chemistry. Yes. In our game, the player plays as Oxy, a single atom of oxygen. Oxy is able to form and break bonds with other atoms. Oxy's goal is to meet up with his partner and form O2. The setting in which this takes place is right after an experiment in a lab that resulted into a single oxygen atom. For oxygen to exist in a stable state, it must combine with another atom of oxygen. In this journey, oxy will encounter other atoms with which it can react. Luckily, our oxy can form and break bonds by choice to solve puzzles and reach its goal. Along the way, oxy will encounter other atoms such as helium, iron, hydrogen and barium. Oxy will need to use the chemical reaction with each of these atoms to oxy's benefit in order to traverse each level. With these reactions, we think of oxygen and helium repelling each other, oxygen making iron rust, oxygen turning into water when meeting hydrogen twins, and oxygen combusts when it comes into contact with barium. No, I'm not doing the touchy. Like this? Yeah, yeah perfect. perfect. What makes this game unique is that it's an educational chemistry game designed with experiential learning theory in mind. This means that the player learns by doing. During development, we wish to reference standards in chemistry education. <laughs> the target audience for NanoCrush consists of male and female players between the ages of 12 and 15 years old that are following chemistry classes. The goal for this audience is to learn the basic interactions of chemistry elements through the use of the educational game, improving on their chemistry knowledge through experiential learning theory and gameplay. The game will focus on improving the in-class performance of students through a fun and entertaining game that aims to be accessible to all players, including students with color blindness and hearing disabilities. For our development plan, we want to use an agile approach. We will work to get a playable prototype. <laughs> yeah, we'll try we will work to get a playable prototype out at the end of week two. After this, we will use weekly sprints to get a weekly release schedule. This will allow us to get a working build out every Friday and do playtesting in the weekend. The graphics of the game will be of a stylized 2D nature, using parallax scrolling to create a sense of depth. An example of this would be the Apes Odyssey series. Nano Crush takes place in the chemistry lab. The environment will aid in explaining the mechanics of the game to the player and also form the necessary obstacles and barriers within the game. The character in the game is represented as an atom and will have appropriate animation sprite sheets. Each atom will have animations for the chemical reactions that take place within the game. Hi, I'm Elwin, and I'll be the lead programmer for this project, and ensure that the project meets technical requirements. I'll be delegating tasks between Johnny and I, and mainly focus on molecule interactions and gameplay programming. Hi, I'm Martha. I will be the team lead and the lead designer. As such, I will be coordinating the design work and managing the team communications, keeping the documentation up to date, organizing and assigning tasks, and overseeing the level design. I will also be in charge of the world design and the content design. Hi, I'm Thomas. For this project, I will be the level designer and audio director, developing fun and clear levels for the players to teach them how chemistry works and how all the mechanics interact with each other. Furthermore, I will be working on the game's feedback to ensure that the positive feedback loops are provided to the player whenever they learn something correctly. Hi, I'm Johnny, a carbon-based automaton that will do lots of coding to facilitate the designers and the tech lead with their work. The user interface logic will also be my responsibility, and as the most talkative and experienced with public speaking, I will do the presentations. Hi, I'm Tino, and I'm the artist on the team. This game will require a lot of assets, ranging from backgrounds, environment art, interface assets, and character sprite sheets. To pull this off, I will have to work efficiently, fast, and approach the asset creation creatively. <laughs> 